What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. Once again, excuse my eye. I woke up, contact was all irritated, had to take the contact lens out. But I wanted to just say this, man. Um, Anti-black conservatives run YouTube. Anti-black racist conservatives really, really run YouTube. And it's a shame the way I see black content creators like shift their content to like engage or cause like anti-black racist people to come to their channel. You know what I mean? Like I watch YouTube channels like the Cartier family go from reacting to sports, music to reacting to Thomas Soil and all these anti-black like racist individuals and Thomas Sowell black, but anti-black like it ain't nothing, right? Sorry, they reacting to Tucker Carlson, Ben Shapiro and all. Like what the hell are y'all doing, right? That's not even y'all audience. They reacting, not, not that they can react to them. They're reacting to them and then agreeing with the, con agreeing with what Thomas Sowell and all these other anti-black people are saying. Like young black kids, young black men, had a great following and then in order to grow their audience they saw the trends on youtube the cartier family i'm speaking of one of them brothers is a brother cap alpha side too it's really shameful because cap alpha side teach you a lot about anti-black stuff and how you know a lot of our founders at the organization of cap alpha side fraternity dealt with a lot of anti-black racism on a, on a regular basis all throughout their life and so to be react to be reacting to these people and agreeing with what they're saying on these channels it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. But they're not the only ones, right? Like, I, I, people, these, these anti-black crowds, they can get you a humongous following and you can go, I mean, you can go triple platinum on YouTube if you really like, if you be a, if you, all you got to do is be a Tucker Carlson, Ben Shapiro, Stephen Crowder, Jesse Lee Peterson, Tommy, Thomas Sowell, Clarence Thomas, Tom McDonald listening, motherfucker. That's all you got to do. And you will gain a tremendous following. Like, bro, who the hell listens to Tom McDonald? Anybody that listened to Tom McDonald, I know didn't get a kiss till they was 34 years old. I know you still pee in the bed. I know you stank. I know girls hate being around you. Because all he make is incel, anti-black incel music. Who the fuck want to ride around in their car listening to some goddamn Tommy McDonald? I mean, Tom McDonald. Who want to listen to that? Nobody, right? But a lot of these black reactors and black content creators like No Life Shack and, you know, Stevie Knight, they will react to them acting like it's the best thing they ever heard in their life because they know anti-black conservatives run YouTube. And that if they if they react to this content and act like it's the best thing since sliced bread, act like it's the best thing since the Swiffer Mop, oh my God, if they just act like it's phenomenal, their channel views... And likes and subscribe and subscriptions will go up. The subscriber count will go up immediately. All you got to do is react to that content. You know what I mean? And to me, that's like, that's corny to me, man. And, and again, I've watched Ryan Garcia be despicable towards black folks. Call black folks all type of N-words. And how, you know, George Floyd, you know, he would dig up George Floyd and, 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 Unalive George Floyd again and all like all these N words and N word he had joined the KKK, all that racist talk he was doing. And I watched a whole bunch of black content creators shuck and jive, sambo it up and make all all type of excuses not to cover Ryan Garcia disrespecting black folks because they know a lot of their following feel the same way as uh Ryan Garcia. Right. And so to get around talking about it, they start, you know, I'm so numb to it, man. I hear it all the time. I'm just so numb to the N word. I hear it all the time. Keep being numb to it. They're going to keep disrespecting black folks because you letting it slide on your watch because you letting it go. I don't care what nobody say. You can never talk crazy about Jewish folks. They standing in solidarity. You can't never talk. They tell us to get over racism, to get over slavery. You can't tell a, a Jewish person to get over the Holocaust. They will light your way. They will snap on you. They will snap on you. Get on you and, and cuss you out, sue you, all of the above. Black folks, the only one that don't stay on cold. Hey, man, I guess we got to get over it, man. I get, why? When ours happened, our trauma happened on American soil. We helped to build this nation. And y'all let other folks get down on us on a regular basis and act like you. Oh, I don't want to I don't want to talk about Ryan Garcia, man. I'm just so numb to it. Keep being numb. And keep how to watch how the disrespect keep flying, right? Then I saw some people, man. I want, I don't like gossip. It's just gossip news. I want to talk about boxing on my channel, brother. The man got suspended from the WBC. The sanctioning body suspended him. 
That's boxing news. You can talk about it. You just don't want to talk about it because you're afraid to lose that anti-black following you got. Personally, y'all know I'm going to keep it a buck on this channel. I don't care who don't like it, who get mad. I don't want nobody anti-black subscribing to me. I want all them motherfuckers far away from this channel. So I'm going to keep talking my truth and keep saying what I'm saying. I don't encourage them to come over here. Stay the fuck from around me. You Oakley wrap around shade, Wrangler jean wearing, camouflage fatigue having ass motherfuckers. Stay y'all goofy ass over there. Because I I can't, it's just no. I, it's just, my content is not for them and not for anti-black racist individuals. It's not. So I, I don't care about not having them subscribing to my uh channel or being on here, over here. But a lot of black content creators are now making their content to gear it towards anti-black racist conservatives. You know, and to me, that's despicable. It's clowned out. What black person you know riding around listening to Tom McDonald saying this fire? Not one. Not one. Unless they grew up in Vermont or New Hampshire or Maine around a not like around anti-black racist individuals. You know, other than that, what ain't no black person in Chicago. In Georgia, ain't no black person in California, ain't no black person in New York City, ain't no black person in South Carolina, Mississippi, Louisiana, you know, Washington, D.C., ain't no black person in Seattle riding around listening to Tom McDonald, bro, get up out of it, knock it off, knock it off, fam, we not doing no, no, we not. You know, but a lot of the, a lot of these content creators will react to him and act like he's amazing, he's dope, because they want that audience over there. Why do y'all want that audience on y'all channel? I know we all want to make money. We all want to prosper, prosper. We all want to grow. We want to get reach extreme exponential heights. We want to do well on YouTube. But it's not worth it to have people on your channel who denigrate your people, who don't like your people, who clown your people out, who make excuses for violence happening to black folks. And, and excuse those actions. Why do y'all want them people on y'all channel? Them butter biscuits can't be that good, bro. They can't be. You know, I'm not going to be on this channel tap dancing. and I, I can never do that. I'm going to speak my truth, whether who like it or not. And it's just like, to me, I just see all the... But like I said, the Cartier family ain't never been riding around watching, watching no Ben Shapiro, Tucker Carlson, Steven Crowder. Let Steven Crowder talk all that anti-black talk and he had the house being a monster to his wife. Wife can't stand him. She trying to love him through him being a monster. You know, and, and she like, I got to go. And it, it got unveiled for the world to see. After he tried to denigrate everybody else, talk down against black folks, all other people, and then now your, your, now your skeletons come out the closet. You know what I mean? Why did these young men ain't watching? Like, they watching... Um, um, Clarence Thomas or Tom McDonald and Jesse, Jesse Lee Peterson. And like, what are y'all doing? Y'all watching that because it's geared. I'm looking in the comment section of their videos. Cause uh, like they, the people eating it up in the comments, cause the anti-black conservatives have found their way to their channel and it's helping them grow. But I don't want to grow like that, bro. I'm going to come, I'm going to grow standing on my, standing on my, uh, standing my ground, standing on my principles, core values, integrity, all of that. I'm going to grow my channel, staying on cold, talking my real talk. I ain't growing my channel doing all that. But like I said, the anti-black conservatives run YouTube. They do. They like that. Man, I'm telling you, all the quickest way to grow your channel is either to listen to Eminem. And again, a lot of people don't like it. If I say this, not everybody that listens to Eminem is racist or disrespectful, but a lot of them are. Just watch how they want... Watch how they talk when you as a black man don't like Eminem. You become all type of monkeys, all type of, oh, because he ain't killing folks like they do in Chicago and they're all black communities. They've done it to me, right? The moment you say you don't like Eminem, they start telling you because you don't like him because he's white. And you, you know, you all type of monkeys and then you all type of, then they start talking despicable about black folks. Because you don't like Eminem. Marshall fucking Mathis. Get the fuck out of here, dog. Get out of here, right? So the quickest way to grow your channel is to react to Eminem, is to talk anti-black, um, react to anti-black conservative videos or talk shows or, or anti-black conservative music or whatever. That's the way to grow your channel. Or to make LeBron James hate content because a lot of anti-black conservatives hate LeBron James. They do. 
especially due to the fact that he talks about police brutality that happens to black American people on a regular basis. He makes it known. He talks about all of, uh, he talks about it on his Instagram, on his Twitter. He don't care who getting mad, none of that. He voices his opinion about black folks being slaughtered at the hands of law enforcement. And people don't like that. They hate it. They want him to be like Michael Jordan. They want him to be like Kobe Bryant. Don't talk about nothing with black folks. Don't speak up for nothing that, ha nothing that happened to black people. Just be quiet and play basketball. Don't talk about none of the stuff that's happening within the black community that's unjust. Don't talk about none of the injustices and racial prejudice that black people experience. Then we will love you. But LeBron don't care. He do what he want to do. And so they don't like him. So I just named you three ways to grow your channel. React to Eminem content, which a lot of his audience is filled with anti-black um, conservatives. So it's some that's not, but a lot, a lot of them is filled with that. And you watch how they talk when you as a black man criticize Eminem. Um, react to anti-black conservative talk shows. Watch a lot of Steven Crowder, Tucker Carlson, Ben Shapiro, Thomas Sowell, Clarence, uh, I mean, Tom McDonald. You know, listen to all of that. You'll grow your channel. Listen to Jason Whitlock. You'll grow your channel. And just make LeBron James hate content. That's the quickest way to grow your channel. I'm not subscribing to none of that shit. So they, people just, I'm going to get my stuff out the mud and be organic to my folks. I'm not going to disrespect or denigrate my people in, in, in any way to grow this channel. You know, but I watch too many black content creators do it all the time. And it's cowardly. It's disgusting. It's lame. It's goofy. And, and I don't see how y'all can sit here and do that and feel proud about yourself when you go to sleep at night. I guess because the bank, the bank account is getting high and getting fat. But it just, to me, that's disingenuous. I can never come on this camera putting on a persona that's not me. Come on here talking and agreeing with stuff I know I don't agree with in my everyday life. I know I don't stand for it. I know it's not. It's, I can't co-sign something on YouTube that I don't co-sign in real life. I can't. I don't, man, I don't know, man. People, people are strange and weird, but that money make people do strange things, boy. That money will make a hoe out of a person. <laughs> Quick, fast, in a hurry. I don't know, man. It just, it's just wild to me, man. I don't know, man. It's, 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 it's quite crazy. But a lot of the YouTube content creators, black content creators on YouTube, I figured it out. Just react to anti-black conservative talk and you will grow and blossom. And they'll say, man, you're one of the good ones. You're one of the good ones, guys. You see, you're one of the good black guys. I can never be one of the good ones. I'm going to be Mac.